Moment of wisdom from the Rebbe for today. So this week's parsha, we read a special parsha called Parsha Shkolem, which speaks about the requirement of every Jewish person to give a half coin, half shekel to Hashem to be able to go towards the Karbanis. Now we find two interesting rules that seemingly contradict each other about this giving. On one hand, we have to give a half shekel. Now it's very strange. In general, everything we do in the base mikdash has to be complete. You have to give a complete carbon. You're not allowed to have any blemishes in it. It has to be a complete animal that you're giving. As opposed to here, we find that specifically a half. You're not allowed to give a whole coin. And on the other hand, we find a second rule. The second rule is the fact that when you give this coin, you have to give it all in one shot. You're not allowed to give it in installments. Now that's something which we don't find in any monetary rules. Usually in monetary obligations, you give it in different parts. Where do these two rules come from over here? And seemingly they're contradictory to each other. On one hand, it's specifically a half. On the other hand, it has to be specifically a whole. So what's going on over here? So the explanation is that the idea of the Machzah Shako coin symbolizes a half. That we need to realize that we are only a half. Our other half is God Almighty. Hashem is the other half of the Jewish people. And only when we're together do we have a full form. And this is the idea of the Mitzvah Machzah Shako. When a Jew realizes that he's only a half, because he really is a piece of God, you have a Nefesh kiss, which is an actual part of God himself, and it came into your physical body. Now, you think that when he's in within you, he's separate from God. But the truth is that really you're half with separate from him. And when you do his mitzvahs and you do the Machzah Shako, you're coming together with him and you're becoming one full being. And that's the idea of Machzah Shako. You need to bring it together specifically in one. And that's why you find these two rules. On one hand, you have to give it over only a part, a half of you, because you are only a half. But on the other hand, when you realize that you're only half, you're going to be fully given over to Hashem in a way of Messias Nefesh, totally involved and given over to Hashem himself. L'chaim, l'chaim.